Hi, and welcome to our Design Academy series hosted by Campus Inc. This series is meant to take you from an absolute beginner at Illustrator who has never opened Adobe before to a competent designer who can be creating their own imagery and designs within the program. This program was originally created for our student designers here at Campus Inc. So some of the lessons may be tailored a bit towards uh, designing within the screen printing industry. However, 90% of the lessons are broad and will work for any designer looking to learn about Adobe Illustrator. This series will be uh, meant to be played in a playlist. Most of the lessons will be short and specific um, on one tool or element of Adobe Illustrator. However, if you are to watch the series in order from start to finish, um, it should be, give you a comprehensive understanding of the program. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. In this first episode, we are gonna be learning how to open up a file um, create a new file in Adobe Illustrator and going over a little bit of the interface and workspace uh, within the program. So to start, let's go over here to create new. This is the uh, main page you're gonna see when you first open the program. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go to print within the presets here. And let's just go ahead and do a custom one here. We're gonna go over to this drop down and select inches for our units. Let's make the width 10. And let's do the same for height, make that 10. So now we have a 10 inch by 10 inch document. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at one artboard for now. Let's have CMYK color selected. Raster effects will be on high and preview mode, preview mode on default. We're gonna go ahead and hit create. And great, now we've got a fresh canvas to work on and an Adobe Illustrator file created. So, Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our workspace here. Before we do so, let's make sure that we all are looking at the same workspace. We're gonna go up here to Window, Workspace, and let's go ahead and put that on Layout. Additionally, let's go ahead and go to Reset Layout, just to make sure that we're all working with the um, same default workspace layout. All right, so in Illustrator, you're gonna have uh, three main kind of uh, places where your tools and effects and different features you're gonna be using live. On the left here, you have your main toolbar. This is where all of your primary tools are, things like the text tool, uh, the pen tool, your selection tool here. Um, and these are all things that we'll be going over throughout the course of this series. Along the top here, you have a kind of toolbar and selection bar for different features um, that you'll um, start to see as you select different objects. Just to give you a quick example, if I were to make text here, um, you'll see that when I have a text object selected, I have some options here related to that, things like font and um, you know font style. Um, however, if I were to create a rectangle here, I would have some different options here, some shape options, some alignment options, uh, things like that. And again, these are all things that we'll go over um, later on in the series. And then over here on the right, we have um, some other interface uh, related things, things like color and color swatches, um, things like layers, um, transparency is going to be found over here. And a lot of these windows we don't really have yet, but as we start to learn about these things, I will go ahead and show you how to add those to your workspace. Uh, the last thing to kind of go over is just along the top here, uh, you do have some options. Um, under file, you've got things that are pretty standard for any program, save, save as, um, you know some options to open and export things. Um, and then we're gonna have some other things along here that we'll be diving into more later in the series. Um, here under view and window, you have some things that kind of um, modify the way that your uh, program works. Um, some options to pull up other tools and windows here, um, and then some view related things and uh, snapping related things that we'll go over later. You also have some different tools up here, um, effects and things like that. So this is just a very brief overview of the Illustrator program and interface. Um, we're going to be diving a lot more into this as the series goes on. Right now, it probably looks very confusing. Um, these Adobe programs are very large and overwhelming, especially if you have not used any other Adobe programs uh, before. But uh, that's the whole purpose of this series. We're going to be taking it really slow and looking at things on a very granular level um, so that you slowly start to understand and build up your skills within the program. And um, hopefully by the end of the course, you will have a strong working knowledge of Adobe Illustrator. So we'll see you in the next episode.